questi demoni, quel diavolo educato, quando fa finta di essere un gran signore, custodire la casa di questo inganno dei demoni educati. Have you ever wondered about the mysterious signs of the rapture and the Antichrist? Well, Pope Francis recently made a surprising revelation that the Antichrist has arrived, though many can't see it. So what are the defining clues that signal the arrival of the Antichrist and the impending rapture? Let's dive into this video today and explore these intriguing revelations. In Christian beliefs about the end of the world, the Antichrist is a figure mentioned in the Bible who will oppose Jesus Christ before he returns. The term Antichrist is found four times in the New Testament in the first and second epistle of John. He is someone who denies the Father and the Son. In the Gospels of Matthew and Mark, Jesus warns his followers not to be fooled by false prophets who claim to be the Christ and perform impressive miracles. There are a few other names and images associated with the Antichrist in different parts of the Bible, like the little horn in the book of Daniel, the man of sin in Paul the Apostle's second epistle to the Thessalonians, and the beast of the sea in the book of Revelation. And now, let's understand some facts about the Antichrist. Firstly, he is the son of Satan. Christians believe the Antichrist is the complete opposite of Jesus Christ, who was considered the son of God. The Antichrist is thought to be the offspring of Satan and would be born from a woman who appeared to be a virgin but was actually not pure. While Jesus was God in human form, the Antichrist is believed to be Satan in human form. Moreover, there are Bible mentions to support the claim. The New Testament in the Bible, specifically in the letters of John chapter 2 verses 18 to 27 and chapter 4 verses 1 to 6 speaks of the Antichrist, suggesting that the end of the world could come at any time. Also, early Christian scholars found references to the Antichrist in characters like the abomination of desolation in the books of Daniel and Matthew and in Paul's letters where he is called the man of lawlessness and the son of perdition. And the book of Revelation describes two figures referred to as the beast from the earth and the beast from the sea, and their number is 666. Next, he is an earthly tyrant and trickster. Around the year 1000, a monk named Adso of Montier-Ondere outlined a narrative about the Antichrist. According to this narrative, the Antichrist would be a Jew from the tribe of Dan, born in Babylon, raised by evil magicians and accepted as a messiah by the Jews. He would harm and kill Christians and rule for seven years before being defeated by divine forces. By 1400, a different narrative emerged as various popes were also accused of being an antichrist. Now the antichrist was seen as a deceiver within the church, sometimes associated with the pope and the papacy. Like Martin Luther, Protestants during the 16th century reformation believed the pope represented the antichrist. Not only this, he is also considered one and many. Many individuals, groups, and even objects have recently been labeled as potential antichrists. American presidents like Ronald Reagan, John F. Kennedy, Barack Obama, and Donald Trump have faced such accusations. Some see the antichrist as a recurring pattern of power oppressing the weak. Various public figures, including Osama bin Laden and Saddam Hussein, were also accused of being the antichrist. Some even believe that barcodes and pet microchips contained marks of the beast. Finally, he dies in the end. According to Christian tradition, the Antichrist will ultimately be defeated by the armies of God, led by Christ, leading to the establishment of the kingdom of God on earth or in heaven. This shows that, despite appearances, Christianity maintains the hope that goodness will ultimately overcome evil, understanding the Antichrist and AMP. Its facts leads us to know what the Pope has revealed about the arrival of the Antichrist and AMP, beginning of the rapture in Israel. The Pope suggests various theories regarding the Antichrist. First is the rich billionaire theory. One intriguing theory postulates that the Antichrist will emerge as a figure of immense wealth and power. This scenario is deeply rooted in biblical passages, particularly the imagery of a beast with ten horns and seven heads. These ten horns and seven heads are believed to symbolize various nations or influential groups. In the context of the rich billionaire theory, the Antichrist would exercise control over these structures owing to their vast wealth. This could take the form of leading a major global corporation or occupying a high-ranking political position with influence over multiple nations. 
Intriguingly, the Bible alludes to the beast's control over the masses who venerate it for its might. This, in essence, mirrors the kind of sway and authority a wealthy individual could exert in the modern world. It is theorized that their vast resources would enable them to shape public opinion, manipulate the media, and even influence political leaders. The concept of economic control, symbolized by a unique mark for buying and selling goods, is associated with the Antichrist's potential oversight of global finances. Second is the religious leader theory. Another theory posits the Antichrist as a charismatic religious leader. The Antichrist may employ cunning actions and supernatural feats to establish a global religion in this scenario. This notion is linked to the biblical concept of spiritual deception, where the Antichrist leads people astray through seemingly miraculous acts. The idea here is that these actions are intended to deceive followers through the illusion of divine power. The Apostate Church Leader Theory For others, the Antichrist's emergence is viewed as a perversion of the Christian Church. This leader might adopt a corrupted form of Christianity, deviating from fundamental beliefs. This idea draws from biblical verses such as 1 Timothy chapter 4 verses 1 and 2, which speak of people forsaking their faith in the end times. Such apostasy within the Christian community could set the stage for the emergence of an antichrist figure. Next comes the alien deception theory. Some intriguingly propose that the antichrist could employ trickery to present themselves as an extraterrestrial being. This idea stems from the belief that the Antichrist will utilize supernatural abilities to deceive people, a notion found in biblical passages like Matthew chapter 24 verse 24 and 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 11. The notion of contact with beings from other worlds, as found in historical accounts like the Sumerian culture, raises the possibility that an alien-like figure might captivate and lead the masses by claiming to possess profound knowledge including the origins of Earth. Finally, the political leader theory. The theory that the Antichrist will be a formidable political leader who unifies various nations under a single government is a compelling concept. This alignment is resonant with biblical passages like Daniel chapter 7 verses 23 to 25, which describe a fourth kingdom that differs from others and will eventually dominate the entire world. This can be interpreted as a global government led by the Antichrist, with ten kings emerging from this kingdom, of which the Antichrist is distinct and more powerful. The reference to the Antichrist opposing God, oppressing religious believers, and attempting to alter laws and times suggests an agenda aimed at diverting worship to himself and reshaping societal rules to align with his values. And now, let's understand the spirit of the Antichrist. The spirit of the Antichrist theory is a theory delving into the realm of advanced technology and artificial intelligence, exploring how this antichrist-like figure could manipulate and control people, much like what's foretold in the book of Revelation. The antichrist hasn't made a grand entrance on the world stage yet, but his influence is subtly at work. We must stay vigilant and discerning, recognizing the telltale signs and protecting ourselves from his sway. The Bible alerts us to the Antichrist's presence in 1 John chapter 4, verse 3, stating that anyone who doesn't acknowledge Jesus isn't aligned with God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, and it's already active among us. Observing the world today, we can discern it heading in a certain direction, with signs that the spirit of the Antichrist is gaining prominence. These signs must be acknowledged, and we must remain steadfast in God's teachings. One prominent sign of the Antichrist's influence is the surge of secularism and the abandonment of God's moral values. People are becoming more self-centered, placing their desires above all, often neglecting the welfare of others. This self-centered disposition runs counter to Jesus' message of love and selflessness. The Antichrist's spirit thrives in a world prioritizing human desires over God's divine plan and righteousness. The spirit of the Antichrist is already in motion in our contemporary world. The Apostle John prophesied the Antichrist's coming and how various precursors would pave the way, all under the influence of the same spirit. Just as believers can be filled with the Holy Spirit, some individuals are susceptible to the spirit of the Antichrist. 
We witness a waning reverence for Jesus Christ and a surge in anti-God sentiments in society, leading to a surge in lawlessness, a trend that's growing more conspicuous. For instance, Bibles that once graced American classrooms and UK hotel rooms are vanishing from public spaces, and the fear of God is diminishing worldwide. All of these shifts lay the groundwork for the Antichrist's advent. Contrary to some beliefs, the Antichrist may not have to instigate significant changes upon arrival. The world will already be primed for his influence when he does appear. The spirit of the Antichrist is actively shaping a world where the fear of God is declining, signifying the times as foretold in the Bible. The Bible describes the arrival of the Antichrist, and the Pope connects those biblical prophecies and theories about the Antichrist with today's world. So let's dive into the video to know the mystery of the Antichrist that has intrigued scholars and believers for centuries. The Religious Leader Theory The Antichrist theory suggests that the Antichrist could be a religious leader, a complex aspect of the study of end times called eschatology. This idea has made people wary of religious figures, drawing from interpretations of Bible verses. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and 4, Apostle Paul talks about a lawless figure opposing gods, interpreted by some as the Antichrist, a religious leader with sinful tendencies. Apostle John warns of Antichrists in 1 John chapter 2 verses 18 to 22, people denying Jesus as Christ, contributing to the notion of a charismatic Antichrist, diverting from traditional Christian beliefs. In Matthew 24, Jesus warns of false prophets deceiving even the elect, setting the stage for the idea of an antichrist using religious charisma. This concept connects to discussions about the end times, the second coming of Christ, and biblical prophecies, with scholars offering diverse perspectives throughout history. Political Leader Theory The second theory suggests that the antichrist might be a political leader, adding complexity to Christian end times interpretations. This idea explores the notion that a political leader could engage in interfaith diplomacy, presenting unity while subtly undermining core religious beliefs aligning with Bible warnings about false prophets. Throughout history, figures like Pope Innocent, Napoleon Bonaparte, and Adolf Hitler have been viewed as potential antichrists due to their political influence. In the book of Daniel, Chapter 8 describes a powerful political leader causing destruction, possibly the Antichrist. Other chapters depict beasts, rulers, and a boastful horn connecting to the Antichrist as a charismatic religious or political figure. Apostle Paul's warning in 1 Timothy about deceiving spirits contributes to the broader idea of deception and departure from true faith, often linked to a political figure leading people astray. Though not explicitly mentioning the Antichrist, this passage highlights the themes of deception and spiritual divergence associated with political leaders in end-time scenarios. Rebuilding of Roman Empire Theory Another theory about the Antichrist involves the rebuilding of the Roman Empire. This idea doesn't come directly from religious texts, but is based on historical, geopolitical, and cultural analysis. It suggests that a powerful and charismatic world leader seen as the Antichrist could emerge to restore a global power similar to the ancient Roman Empire. The Roman Empire was known for its huge influence and strength, but collapsed over time. The theory imagines a leader, the Antichrist, who aims to bring back a form of global dominance like the Romans had. This could involve political alliances, economic influence, or even a centralized world government. In today's context, Rome is often seen as a symbol of power, governance, and cultural influence. The theory proposes that the Antichrist might rebuild aspects of the Roman Empire, either symbolically or physically, to consolidate global authority. This could include using modern tools like economic alliances, digital communication, and political influence. The idea is that the Antichrist would be strategic in politics, forming alliances, manipulating international dynamics, and using crises to advance their agenda. Economic power is seen as a crucial tool in this theory, 
with the Antichrist controlling global systems through trade agreements and financial institutions. Technology and communication advancements are also considered important, with the Antichrist using them for surveillance, control, and manipulation to create a tightly regulated global order. Apostate church leader, there's another well-known theory that the Antichrist might come from within the church as a leader who turns away from the true faith. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus warned about false prophets who may look harmless but are actually dangerous. This sets the stage for the idea that a deceitful leader could arise within the church, pretending to be a faithful shepherd while having harmful intentions. In Jesus' teachings about the end times, he mentioned false prophets leading many astray. This aligns with the thought that the Antichrist might not be an external enemy, but could come from within the church using religious authority to deceive believers. The Apostle Peter also warned about false prophets and teachers bringing destructive teachings, adding to the idea of internal corruption within the church. These references contribute to the theory that the Antichrist could emerge as an apostate church leader before becoming a political figure. This idea emphasizes the dangers of spiritual deception and the importance of discernment within Christian communities. Besides being a real human, these theories raise questions about what other forms the Antichrist has been predicted to take. Next is the rich billionaire theory. The rich billionaire antichrist theory is a way some people interpret the Bible. They believe the antichrist will be a very rich person with a lot of power in the world. This theory connects certain Bible verses to the lifestyle of wealthy individuals. One key idea is that the antichrist will be charming and able to bring people together under his influence. This idea comes from the belief that a wealthy and powerful person can easily control public opinion and gather a large following. It's important to be careful when looking at these interpretations, because different people can understand Bible prophecies in different ways. The idea of a wealthy antichrist is just one of many interpretations. One verse often talked about in this context is Revelation chapter 13 verses 16 and 18. It says that the rich billionaire antichrist will force everyone big or small, rich or poor, free or enslaved, to have a mark on their right hand or forehead. This mark is said to be the name of the beast, or the number of his name, which is 666. The Bible suggests that understanding this requires wisdom and insight. When supporters of this theory look at other Bible passages, they see connections to the characteristics of a wealthy and powerful person taking on the role of the Antichrist. Some verses focus on the idea that the Antichrist will try to change established norms and laws, possibly using their wealth and influence to reshape society. However, many scholars and religious leaders warn against trying to identify the Antichrist too specifically. They say that apocalyptic literature in the Bible often uses symbols and metaphors, and it's not always meant to be taken literally. Alien deception theory. Some propose a unique theory saying that the Antichrist is an extraterrestrial being, injecting a sci-fi twist into end-time scenarios. In this imaginative tale, the Antichrist uses advanced alien tech to blend into humanity, shape-shifting and creating illusions. It goes beyond appearances. The alien Antichrist may have mind control, manipulating individuals and global events, turning humanity into cosmic pawns. This grand deception isn't local, but global. World leaders, celebrities, and influential figures unknowingly follow the alien in human disguise. The Antichrist performs in the physical realm and the spiritual, posing as an enlightened figure offering alternative paths to salvation. The narrative unfolds with humanity discovering an evil extraterrestrial force manipulating history. This prompts deep reflections on identity, trust, and good versus evil. The scenario challenges our understanding of humanity's vulnerability and the blurred lines between the known and the unknown. In this tale, people may unwittingly worship the alien, thinking it's human, only to later realize it's the Antichrist. Rooted in speculative thought, 
This vivid image suggests advanced extraterrestrial beings using technology and charisma to lead humanity astray. The alien could perform miracles, gain adoration, and introduce innovations, causing a gradual crisis of faith among its followers. This scenario explores charismatic leadership, technological power, and human vulnerability, sparking contemplation on belief and the consequences of blind devotion. Last is the spirit of the Antichrist. The spirit of Antichrist theory is a theological idea that goes beyond specific Bible verses. It suggests that the spirit of the Antichrist opposes the principles of Christ and isn't tied to just one person, but can show up in different forms and ideas. This concept has been around in Christian thinking for a long time, focusing on the subtler ways evil and opposition to Christ can influence people. The spirit of the Antichrist is seen as a force that subtly affects individuals, societies, and ideologies opposing Christian values. It involves denying or distorting core Christian beliefs, like the divinity of Christ and the authority of biblical teachings. This spirit can be present in ideologies that actively go against Christianity or in moral contradictions that go against Christian ethics. In modern discussions, the spirit of Antichrist theory is applied to things like the secularization of societies, the rise of atheistic ideas, and changes in traditional moral values. Some use it to analyze cultural shifts and political movements that challenge Christian principles. However, critics argue that it can be too broad and subjective, making it challenging to identify clearly in different situations. Also, Pope Francis mentioned the Antichrist, cautioning everyone to be aware of signs that might indicate its presence in various places like parks, schools, or even churches. This theory allows believers to stay vigilant against influences that go against Christian principles. So, what do you think of the theories suggesting the Antichrist has arrived? Comment below and subscribe for more. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.